This is a Be Kind to Pets educational video sponsored by Tapayo Vets. There are four steps you need to take to treat a lame dog. They are examine, observe, x-ray and evaluate. Step 1. Examine. Take history and physical examination to find out as much as possible about the dog's condition. Ah, you put the muzzle in now. Ah, okay. Just put it there. Okay, so we start the examination and muzzle the dog first. How old? Female, huh? Female. So, is the spade already? No. No, huh? How old is she now? Seven. Seven years. Uh, 6.3 kg. Eating well? Drinking yeah. and okay. urine and stool? Yeah. Normal. So how long has this uh, right front About leg? About 12 days. Up, uh, right front leg is up 12 days. Uh. Mm. And it, it, it didn't come down? It didn't come down at all? Sometimes it will come down. So, so it's... It go down so you can walk. So you, huh? just that. You, put, you put on the floor? I put on the phone and just now I bring him down, he just keep hopping off. Uh, then he ever walk one or two steps. Because oh. I don't know whether so it's low, is it below yeah. something? She put bare it down. Uh, bare sweet, uh, you can see it's bare sweet. First of all, I take the temperature first. Uh. See whether they can feel it. Come, you hold the dog first. Uh. Take the temperature. I weigh the dog already, so take the temperature. Mm. Any vomiting? No. Coughing? No. It's very active? Yeah, still very active. Uh. So the temperature should be normal. Since the appetite is good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 38.8, which is the normal temperature. 38.8. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with the toes first. Okay, flex. Extend. I thought this one is hard to end up. So it's a bit individual. This looks like swollen. It's even more swollen. Oh, this is oh. the pain is here. Actually you can see from the swelling, there's a swelling here. You come this side and see what you want to see. It's a swollen. Mm. There's a big swelling here compared to oh. is it compared to this toe there? Normally compared to the same toe. Mm -hmm. oh, there's no pain here, there you see. You can flex, extend, you can do what you like. Then you compare to this side. This is the D2, uh, digit 2 is okay. Digit 3. A bit big, this one. Uh, it's painful. The digit 4, okay. Digit 5 is okay. So, the other one, the dew claw, has been cut. So D1 is here, D2, D3 is the one. Now whether he had fractured his, uh, his toe or not, it's hard to tell, so we have to shave it and then we will check here. And the best is an x-ray. So now I go to the other side. These are couples, or the wrist, wrist is okay. I go to the elbow. Uh, this is and duck, and this is it up, huh? This seems to be clicking sound on the shoulder. Okay. Normally he should lie down, but he doesn't. Lie. Okay, lie down. Then I check the shoulder joint. Okay, extend. Flex, extend. No pain. Abduct. Then abduct. No pain. Doesn't bother him. And. Now this is a very bad elbow sore, he's been licking it. It's not your lean, lean uh, apply cream and all this. And also now we examine here on the under, under side of the paw. So this is licking due to licking, there's redness here. Mm -hmm. So we compare to this one, you can see the, the swelling. So you can see this one, this side, the normal left uh, pads are black in colour, this one is they are white due to licking and then there seems to be a big swelling here and it's quite painful. So I suspect either there's an infection or there's a fracture inside. 
and it's really painful. So if it's going on for a long time, then uh, then this is why he's not putting on, building down his paw. You see, now his nails have grown longer too. Uh. Yeah, it's further deep in, so there could be a wound here. So you compare to this, compare to this, it doesn't bother him, you see there? It doesn't bother him. So the pain, oh, that's how you examine for pain, yeah. it doesn't bother. And there's no leaking here. Okay, so the treatment will be to shift and then uh, examine it here. And then we want an x-ray. If we don't want it, we treat first. Step 2. Observe. Note the dog's gait. Monday night, December 2013. This wire fox terrier, female, 7 years old, had right forelimb lameness for the last 12 days. Sometimes she can put her foot down, as you can see now, but many times she has been limping with her foot up, not bearing weight. Yesterday I examined her, the right four toe, the third digit was swollen and uh, there was a great pain. So it's most likely there would be either, either some injuries, traumatic injuries or a fracture of the right four or third digit. An x-ray would be best as that will eliminate fractures. There's no apparent penetrating wound on the underside of the paw. The swollen third digit on the right paw or to be due to leaking to elevate the pain. Step 3. Take an X-ray. Once you have located the injury, confirm the type of the injury. In this case, it might be a fracture. Step 4. Evaluate. With the X-ray, you can make a clearer diagnosis. This is an image of the x-ray taken on the dog. The highlighted areas show the third digit on each paw. It shows that the third digit was not fractured. The swelling is most likely to be due to an abscess or an infection. The dog was given antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs. The swelling is expected to go down in a few weeks. Meanwhile, the owner was advised to prevent the dog from vigorous activity. It is best to also have a follow-up review of the dog after it has been given anti-inflammatory drugs to ensure that it is reacting well to it. The next video shows the follow-up examination of the dog.